All right. So within the software is you can handle all your um, certified payroll reporting. So it will handle all the state and federal forms for you. So when I come here to federal e-filing and reporting, it will pull up a tool that allows me to do all of my federal reporting. So whether it be certified reporting or quarterly and annual payroll tax reporting as well, all of those forms are in here. These forms are continually up to date. So it always makes sure that you're using the most current form. So as you can see, I've got my 940s, my 941s. Um, I have my Department of Labor. Uh, certified payroll report. I've got my I-9s. I can even do my federal tax deposits through here if I choose to do so. Um, so in here, I'm going to pull up my Department of Labor certified payroll report. I can put the time period of which I want to pull in this report. It's going to show me all the jobs that are marked as certified jobs. I'm going to say, yeah, I want to print just this particular job is the one that I want to print. It's going to show all the employees that possibly might have worked on that job. And then I can show the payroll frequency, whether it's weekly or biweekly. And then I go ahead and generate that. What that's going to do is it's going to pull all the information from my um, software and pull it into the form. So what you're going to see is something like this. So this is the Department of Labor Certified Payroll Report form. You'll notice that I have this employee listed twice. That is because on this job, he worked as two dis different classifications. He worked part of his time as an equipment operator and part of his time as a laborer. Both of those items are in there with the days and hours that he worked, whether it was straight time or overtime. It also pulls in all his deductions and any fringes that were paid as well into this report. You also have the same capability for the California A1131 form as well. So as you can see, it's put printing directly onto the form. Again, pulling all that information in, that is required. Any benefits that are paid on behalf, the check number, et cetera, all that information is being pulled in directly on the form. That way you can review it, make sure that it's accurate, there isn't any information in, uh, missing, and then you can transmit this form directly to the DIR.